when I started doing this film, it was very clear for me that I, I didn't want to make a conventional period film. And I really wanted to make something that would be very contemporary, where the audience would look at and maybe recognize themselves in the characters instead of thinking, oh, that happened there and then, and now that time is over. One of the things that we did was creating a very stylized world with very minimalist production design. We used certain lenses, you know, wide angle lenses that would make the world a bit more alienating in certain ways. At the same time, would open up possibilities to reflect about our, our world. And what you are presented with is very extreme emotions, um, like almost a grotesque kind of uh, tone to the film, uh, which is sometimes very funny. But uh, what you are looking at uh, are these uh, colonial uh, dynamics which are in fact very absurd. It's very absurd for, you know, uh, make a distinction between people based on the color of their skin. It's, you know, when you think about it, it's, well, and um, so, you know, to underline this absurdity was, was definitely one of the goals. Yeah, but so I, I, I think that uh, in that sense, uh, the audience will get a chance to look at their own environment and maybe recognize certain colonial dynamics as well. For me, in the writing process, it always helps to, to read, to read literature and to find books that, you know, apart from uh, reading literature from those times, uh, you know, uh, especially uh, colonialist Dutch writers uh, who wrote about their experience. But um, I mean, for me, it was also very helpful to, to read a bit of Dostoevsky, <laughs> the Boris Karamazov, you know, with the death of the father as well. He has this, this very grotesque kind of tone uh, and his characters go very, very far. They are in a certain ways likable, but they are also awful. And uh, uh, so I was really inspired by how those characters are still in certain ways attractive to, 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 to be with, uh, even if you see very extreme sides of them. Once the casting is done well, then you can just let the characters, you know, the actors do what they do. Um, in the case of um, Hayati Aziz, uh, who plays Siti, she uh, um, didn't have experience as an actor, but she was a model uh, before. So she really knew how, you know, with small gestures, really make a really big impression. This is something that I really wanted to embrace. On the set, I, I, I mostly, uh, I let the actors uh, free. Uh, but I always want to see, you know, I, I do take after take. Uh, not that many takes though, uh, you know, under 10, mostly under 10. Within those uh, 10, let's say, I will ask very different interpretations of what's going on. And one of the interpretations will always be very stripped down. Building the character in, in, in the edit studio is for me very uh, gratifying because I feel that that's the moment where you really can, you know, build the character. You don't know on the set, you can have a, vi a vague, you know, intuition like, okay, if you do it like this, it feels better. But then in the edit, you see, oh, but what if she was smiling here? That would have been great. And then it's good that you have collected that uh, during the shooting. Hello, Locarno Film Festival. This is our premiere day today. I'm really happy to be here. Looking forward to show our film to the audience.